Hi guys, today I'm going to um, focus on the 1134 on the back here. Another spectacular 26 degree day in Dorset. Um, so what is it like riding with a 1134 on the back of your bike? Um, I can imagine if you're living in the mountains in France, Italy, Spain, somewhere nice like that. It could be pretty useful, especially uh, if you're a high cadence rider as well. Um, at the moment, I'm finding it a little bit tricky just because when I put into the, the 34, if it's steep enough, um, I find it hard to get the leg speed up because there is quite a jump between, it's a 32 for the next one down, so it's a 30 to 34. So it's a four tooth jump, so it's quite a big jump on there. Um, and I find it a little bit hard at the moment, but I'm sure with, with practice and getting the cadence in my legs up a bit, that might help a bit. And, also taking up some pretty steep climbs will be quite useful. So I sort of tried it out on a, a fairly steep climb yesterday, but uh, wasn't as steep as some of the stuff around here. So I might go out when I feel a little bit fitter to do some bit, bit uh, steeper climbs, try and get something about 20%, in that sort of area, and um, see how we get on with it. But it's pretty cool though, the ratio is nice. It's uh, nice to be able to sit in the, the 52 and sort of 27 and not be cross-chaining. So it means I can stay in that that's 52 for a little bit longer before I have to drop into the 36, which is nice. I'm enjoying that side of it, just need to work on my leg speed really. But yeah, um, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and catch you later on guys. Cheers.